Unit 14. Fencing, where sword play meets sport. September 26th. On guard! You hear the referee say as your opponent points a thin sword in your direction. You ready yourself similarly, and the bout begins. Moving back and forth, you block your opponent's blade and thrust your own toward them. The moment they hesitate, you stab your blade into their chest. A buzzer goes off. You've won the point. All this exciting swordplay is part of the combat sport of fencing. Modern fencing has its roots in European styles of sword fighting. As war moved from sword-based combat to guns over time, swordplay evolved to become a sport. It's difficult to say where exactly fencing was born. However, Italian and French masters had particular influence in developing its rules and practices. Rather than for waging war, fencing shifted to promote fitness and good sportsmanship. These are still crucial to the sport today. In a fencing match, competitors strive to win points by touching a targeted area of their opponent's body armor with their blade. There are three blades used in fencing: foil, saber, and épée. Varying in their construction and rules of play, these three weapons also suit different styles and targets. The shorter foil and longer épée require thrusting or stabbing with the blade. Meanwhile, the saber is best for cutting and slashing. By no means is fencing as simple as it seems. It's highly athletic and requires strategy, technique, and quick reaction times. It's a fantastic sport for keeping yourself in great shape, both mentally and physically.